Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and it is time. I gotta get this back in the mail. So I'm gonna do my first impressions of the Koenig Mini Arius prototype. Um, so I've learned a little bit about this model since unboxing it. I talked to my buddy who works over at Koenig a little bit about the knife, and uh, he answered a couple of my questions, which was pretty cool. So um, yeah, this is gonna be an interesting one because Typically, even for a first impressions video, I have carried and, and cut with a knife. Um, if you didn't watch my unboxing, that is not the case for this one. This was loaned to me by my buddy Ryan Harrell. His Instagram will be linked down below. And uh, this is a collection piece for him. He's not even himself going to be carrying and cutting with this knife. It's a prototype, and it, he has a, a special story of how he got it at Blade Show and a whole thing. And so. This is just for me to check out a little bit and handle basically kind of like I would at the table at Blade Show. I, I'm not supposed to put it in my pocket, not supposed to carry it, not supposed to cut with it. I've just had it here on my desk set on the microfiber side of a really nice handkerchief. Um, and I have flicked it quite a bit. I have played with it and I have handled it a decent bit, but I haven't cut a single thing with it and I'm not going to. And essentially, right after I film this video, I'll also be filming a little bit of a comparison side-by-side -side with the full-size areas, just to show them a little bit more next to each other. Um, again, that'll be a separate video. And then it's going right back in the package it came to me in with a brand new label on it, and I'm gonna ensure the piss out of it, and I'm gonna send it right back to him because um, I am sure he's anxious to get this knife back. It was very, very generous of Ryan to send this to me. So this is prototype number 24. I imagine they probably did about 30 of them based on what I've seen. And that's not very many for how many people want this knife. Um, production on this knife is still a ways out is what I've learned. They're hoping to have these like production ready to sell and start going into homes in under a year. I was hoping it would be like, oh, in like two months they're gonna be ready. Unfortunately, that's not the case, but at least now I know for certain that I want one. Um, if, you're, if you're wondering if it gets my stamp of approval, the answer is yes. I adore this knife, even just handling it a little bit. There's a lot that I can deduct about it because I know the area so well, right? But what, was, what I really needed to see was whether it fit my hand, which it does. We're going to talk about that a little more. And I needed to see kind of... I guess that was really it. I, I had faith that the action was going to be incredible, and it is. I had faith that um, the fit and finish was going to be top-notch because it's a Koenig, so of course it is. I don't know. What, what I needed to know was whether it fit my hand, and it does. Um, if you're not familiar with my hand size, I wear men's medium gloves, but I fill them out real well, and uh, this knife just, it feels so molded to my hand. And the full size Arius, honestly, one of the biggest things about it for me is how good the ergos are. The way that this knife feels, I've described it oftentimes as feeling like grabbing a hunk of clay and squeezing and how it like literally forms to your hand and then it has kind of your grip imprinted on it. This somehow, even though the handle has been scaled down for my hand, still gives me that sensation. Something about the handle shape, the way that it swells and curves, it works incredibly well. I will say the full size Arius does feel a hair more comfortable because it's got more size. It fills my hand a little more, but the ergo, the ergos or the profile of this knife still feel absolutely phenomenal. And I, I am confident that I will love it when I've got my own production variant of this down the line. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's talk first the couple of things that I asked my buddy, I'll pull up his message actually, just to make sure. I, I think I'll remember everything, but I just wanna be positive. Um, so yeah, basically uh, after my video, he responded letting me know a couple of things that I had mentioned that I didn't know <laughs> in the unboxing, and they were this. So this milling, how it's external on these handles, this is for the prototypes only. Um, they plan on doing lightning pockets internally on the production ones. So basically it should be like this when it's production is what I gather from that. I don't know if it'll be exactly the same externally, uh, but they plan on doing internal milling to lighten it out and it won't have these external pockets on it. So this is just 
on the protos, which is kind of cool that they set the prototypes apart like that. It gave them a unique feature. Um, and then blade steel on the production ones is going to be M390, just like the full size Arius in the current generation. So these are done in, um, is it 154 CM or CPM 154? One or the other. I don't have the ownership card next to me. It's in the box, which I'm about to rebox it up in. Um, but that was just for the prototypes, which was my assumption. I didn't think that they were going to be using this steel on the production ones when all their other production knives are currently in M390. So that makes sense. Um, the way that these work as well, if you look, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but inside of the pocket clip where it goes down into there, you can see it says proto, but it doesn't say the number. The way these are numbered, and I had seen this on their Instagram, it's actually under the clip where the clip mounts. So you have to disassemble the knife and take the clip off and then you can see that this one is number 24, which is cool too that they've kind of tucked it away like that, I guess. Um, but yeah, so on this prototype, we're rocking a different blade steel, an external handle milling without any internal handle milling. And it obviously, other than that is, this is what it's going to be. This is the same size, profile, shape, blade grind, all of that is what will be on the production one. So, um, yeah, honestly, first impressions wise, I guess the biggest takeaway I have of this knife, honestly, is that I'm not disappointed by it. And I was worried because the Arius has been my favorite knife for a very long time that somewhere along their journey of miniaturizing it that they would have done something that would make me like it less and I don't I like this as much as the big one um, the full-size areas for me is totally comfortable to carry especially because of how light it is how kind of smooth and rounded it is it pockets well I love it I carry it a lot um, but this is just going to be even more comfortable. And this, honestly, for me, is about the size that I oftentimes lately carry as a secondary. So when this gets internal lightning pockets and it's smooth on the exterior, I imagine that's going to make it even more comfortable. It's going to be an awesome little back pocket secondary knife for me. And the idea of having an Arius that fits in my back pocket and still has all of the qualities that I love about the Arius it's remarkably exciting. Let me move my phone off my lap. I'm like balancing it on my leg. So yeah, um, Ergos, I've already mentioned, for me, they're phenomenal. They're really, really good. There's no jimping anywhere on this knife. I guess you do get a little bit back here, but I don't even feel that on the backspacer. And then a tiny bit in here on the lock bar. Um, again, not aggressive, doesn't bother me. It's just, it's smooth and the way that the handle profile bulges back here, it just works for me. I still get two fingers up in this primary kind of groove here. It's nice that my finger doesn't land right on the peak of that or anything. It just sets right in. This thumb ramp feels incredible. It feels like a little Arius. Um, it doesn't feel off or wrong. It feels right, and I freaking love that. Um, Again, I haven't cut anything with this, but I've cut a lot of things with my regular full-size Arius, and this has the same type of blade grind that you would expect. Still nice, thin, behind-the-edge profile. The edge that's on it to my fingertip feels sticky sharp. It's very good. Um, they have, in recent time as well at Koenig, they've changed their factory edge um, angle, which is nice. They used to put really short edges on it, um, and like in the sense that... The edge angle, if you're familiar with sharpening, I'm not the expert on it, but I typically like to sharpen my knives somewhere around 17 degrees per side. Um, what they were doing for a while, I understand, is a higher number than that. So maybe it was like 20, 25 even uh, degrees per side, which meant that the actual edge bevel, where you see down here, the edge itself was a shorter uh, I, oftentimes it looks better, I think, to do a shorter little edge bevel. Um, but for slicing tasks, the, the lower that number is typically, the better it performs, in my opinion. And they have since, I think they do like under 20 now, is the way I understand it. So this edge profile feels really good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's fantastic. The action on this guy, the detent feels slightly stiffer on this knife than it does on my full-size areas, but it is close and 
honestly, it feels snappier somehow, even though it's smaller. Um, it drops like an absolute dream. It, it functions like an Arius. The middle finger flick is absolutely money. That slight crispiness, uh, the, the way it's slightly more crispy on the detent, I think makes this middle finger flick even a little bit better than my full size one. Part of that could just be that this one is so brand new and mine is really broken in, but it just feels really snappy. Makes cool sounds too. The production one should sound different because it'll have internal milling and all that. This one doesn't, but listen to this by the mic. I love it. It sounds crisp and clean and mechanical and I just, I love it. The centering is perfect. Everything about it is phenomenal. Um, I honestly kind of love that the backspacer isn't anodized. It's made me think about potentially putting the satin hardware back into mine and then de-anodizing that backspacer. <laughs> I think I might do that because I love the way this looks. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's The external milling looks cool. It's not what I would pick if there were multiple options, but having it in hand, I like it more than I did in pictures. It just... This is a sweet, sweet prototype. So, I mean, I'm not let down at all. If anything, I'm more excited now that I've handled a mini Arius for when the time comes that I can get one for myself. I am going to have to wait, but I can't wait. It's an expression. Obviously, I'm going to because I have no other choice. But, man, I can't wait to have one of these for myself that I can carry and use. And I need one. You know, like I just, I have to, I have to have one of these. The fact that it, it doesn't lose its airiness by getting shrunk down is so impressive to me and relieving to me. It's just excellent. It is a fantastic little knife. So yeah, that's the mini Arius. I guess those are my first impressions. Um, when the time finally comes that I'm able to get a production one and give or take a year, um, then there will of course be a, a whole nother video series of unboxing first impressions and then a full review. To do a full review on this would be a lie. I can't review this knife because I haven't used it at all. Um, but I can say that my first impressions of handling it, playing with it, just feeling it a lot, I love it. It is really exceptional. So again, thank you to Ryan. Um, his, you, or sorry, his Instagram will be linked down below. He's an awesome dude. I sincerely, sincerely appreciate him loaning this to me because there are like 30 or so of these that even exist. And I think he's the only person I like know, and we don't even know each other that well, but the only person I like have any kind of relationship that actually got one. So the fact that he reached out to me and was like, hey, would you like to check it out? That means a lot. Um, so huge thanks to him. Don't bother him about buying this knife. I can't imagine he's going to sell it to you, but check out his Instagram. He's an awesome dude, and uh, he's posting a lot of cool knife content these days. So anyway, that's the mini Arius. It's phenomenal. I can't wait for it to get to production and then to have one for myself, but man, it is so good. So we'll see you on the next one.